Hello and welcome back to Michael Edwards, the channel. Today, we are going to be doing some stuff with a 22 rifle, Savage Arms. And we're going to be shooting at some stuff. I'm going to be sighting it in first thing because it's been a long time since I shot this. Before I get started, I'm going to go through some things so YouTube don't get mad at me. Do not do this at home. Do not try this at home. Um, if you attempt to try this at home, please have a parent or guardian with you or whatever. And yeah, let's get back to what I was doing. All right, first thing of gun safety, eyes and ears. You need both to shoot. So these, these are basically, they block ricochet. They will save your eyes from a lot of things. Speaking from experience. Um, these people do not want to wear these because they're like, this ain't loud. Yeah, it's not loud now, but a few years down the line, that may be a cause of hearing loss. So these are both needed very much so. And if you don't have them, you shouldn't go shoot. Okay. So I'm going to be shooting and sighting this thing in because it's been a while, as I said, and for those of you that are gun educated and you know what a savage arm is, um, this 22, uh, it came with a magazine and that magazine decided one day, you know, I don't want to be a magazine no more. So it just flew apart with all the bullets and the bullets flung everywhere on the range. And, uh, yeah, that's why I'm doing it one at a time today. All right. Let's do this. Wow. That's hitting very low. Okay. So now that we have this um, done and sighted in, is it's pretty much at the center so i'm gonna call that good um we'll get started on the other safety things all right so we're gonna do a safety thing of know your target and what's beyond it so for instance that yellow jug that you see on the cinder block is a deer and the jug behind it that's billy bob he's been out in the woods hunting all day he got a deer he's carrying it up there but you can't see him because the deer's blocking your view and possibly a hill or something. So you put one in, and you're like, oh man. And you wouldn't be hunting with a 22 for deer. But just say this is a bigger caliber. And you're getting lined up. You see that deer, and you're like, mm -mm, I'm gonna be eating good tonight. I'm gonna have some horns on the wall. You just hit Billy Bob. So the bullet came in. Ran out, as usual. Hit Billy Bob. Yep. Okay, so here is another thing. If you are hunting and you're in a crowd, there's a lot of different positions. There's this position. You know, you got it in your shoulder. There's this one, and there's this one, which I wouldn't recommend doing that, but still, it's something you can do while hunting if you're in a big crowd. Um, but most people don't know that, and they just go out there the way they've been taught. So, you know, most hunters, you'll want a bullet in the gun while hunting. Turn it off safety. And you'll be out there, you know, you'll be looking for, like mostly when people hunt in groups is for dove and sometimes duck, I think. But they'll be in a circle while dove hunting, kind of flanking the area, coming out. And some of them won't know you got to do this when you're in a crowd like that. 
and keep a watch out for them. And then when you see them, you come up and like that. Some people will be like this and they'll be trigger happy and they'll have their finger on the trigger while out here and they'll go, he just shot his friend. All right, so another instance, you know, you're out there and you see uh, a deer and or dove or whatever and they're sitting on the ground or a raccoon or whatever you're hunting um and then it's sitting like on a rock or near a tree it's right in front of a tree or something like that and you're like okay let's see if i can hit that and you try to hit it and it's like huh okay new safety lesson this gun is not on safety. I just shot something you would call, well, I call them a dud. I don't know what the technical term for it is, but basically you hit it with the hammer and it don't go off. So what you're gonna, gonna do, what you're gonna want to do is wait about 30 seconds and keep the gun shouldered. Okay, let's say it's been about 30 seconds. So, what you're gonna wanna do is undo the chamber, aim the chamber in the barrel somewhere safe, and there it goes, down on the ground. All right, um, I'm gonna try this again. So, again, there's a deer behind a tree, or a dove sitting on a rock, and his head's just sitting up, and the rock's mostly in the way. And you're like, okay, let's take a shot at it. You know, help if I take the safety off. Well, nothing happened. Well, let's go check what happened, because you might not have seen it. Okay, so, we come back, we check it. And there's not really anything on it, as you can see. But if you look a little closer, you can see there's a hole. There's a few. Um, yeah, that's a hole right there. And these are these are all holes. Wow. It's possibly either pieces of lead or concrete. So keep this in mind. The bullet itself is going to break apart when it hits it because obviously, right here, it just drilled it right out. And it threw concrete everywhere. And you know it's going to hit this as well. Because it was sitting about right here. So. It comes back and it hits it. And it went through it. So. If you were standing. Because I heard something bounce through the woods. Behind this where the cinder block is sitting. It's probably the bullet. Um, if you. Are shooting at a target that is solid, like a tree, a rock, possibly the ground, um, it will come back at you along with what it shot, possibly. And it has a wide range. Now, the reason they didn't come back and hit me is because I angled the cinder block to where it's not even aiming at us. It, basically, if you shoot at something solid, it's going to be like shooting a shotgun. Wide range of where it could hit. Um, yeah, so be careful. Okay, so got a bottle out there full of water and soap because I noticed soap kind of makes it go off a little better. I'm gonna try this. Got it. All right, and for our final thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna be shooting a bottle cap off a bottle. And I'll get this camera up close to it so you can see me shoot that off.